Today we have our OPA 296 air-cooled package unit. We're going to have a look at client wiring which involves our TZT controller directly wired to our UC8 board. The TZT controller itself is a surface mounted backing plate. For the purposes of this video we have mounted the uh, backing plate on the top right hand side of the electrical panel. The electrical wiring which involves a uh, connection between the TZT100 and our UC8 board uh, involves a four core shielded cable. Uh, we've already ran the cable through the electrical compartment and as you can see we've terminated it up in the top right hand side. For wiring our TZT100 controller into our UC8, the port is actually located the second plug down which is our RS485. Our four core shielded cable which we've now run to our board can now be terminated in the A2B2 terminals for our Modbus communication and 12 and OV for our supply power to our controller. Wiring for our TZT100 controller is via our four core shielded cable and is terminated into the plugs labelled 24C, 24A and B. For the purposes of this video we have installed our remote thermostat uh, which is in our return air plenum of our air cooled package unit. Wiring is done via our two core shielded cable which is terminated into our TT terminals. Now that we have installed our remote thermostat, our wiring connection onto our TZT is located on our backing plate via our TT terminals. Using our two core shielded cable, we can then now terminate and our remote sensor is now complete. Now that we have wired our TZT100 and remote thermostat to our backing plate, our final step in setting up our TZT is, is to arrange the dip switches as per the quick setup guide supplied with the controller. These dip switches may vary depending on the Temper Zone model. 